Welcome to Jay's Two Cents exclusive insider coverage of CES 2014. Our trip this year is brought to you by AquaTuning, your global source for PC modding and cooling components, and by Sennheiser, the pursuit of perfect sound, and of course, by generous viewers like you. So strap in with Jay's Two Cents as he takes you on a wild ride through CES 2014. You guys have been asking about 290X custom cooling solutions, and Gigabyte has certainly gotten you covered there. Their Windforce cooler design is something that's not new to the market, but it's always been a very tried and true proven method of air cooling graphics cards from Gigabyte. So what you can see right here is a whole array of graphics cards that look exactly the same. That's because they have a cooler that works so good that they're not really changing up the design, but they are adding it to graphics cards. And one of those being specifically the 290X, which, ah, well, right here, what which we're looking at right here. Now the 290X, uh, you guys know runs really, really hot. And the Windforce is a very good cooler when it comes to keeping it nice and cool and keeping the volume levels down. But one of the things that they've integrated here with the Windforce, and I'm gonna get in close so my cameraman can see this, is the fins on this, on the cooling solution, are actually angled. So not only are you dealing with a nice giant heat sink, which is very beefy, and there's actually a good amount of weight to this, um, you are also dealing with channeled airflow. So you're getting maximum airflow through the heat sink, which of course means maximum cooling. There's a lot of copper heat pipes in this thing, keeping this thing nice and cool. Now, no, it does not come with a back plate on the back, but you know, uh, the cooler is beefy, but I don't feel like it's putting any major torque on there. So this particular graphics card we're looking at is the R929X OC 4 gigabyte. It is a 1040 megahertz core clock. Okay, so maybe AMD's not your flavor. Maybe you're an NVIDIA fan. Well, they've got you covered here with NVIDIA as well. We have got the 760 OC. It's a four gigabyte model right there. Nice full length PCB with the same uh, wind force cooler as you've come to expect from gigabyte. You've got the 770, the 780, and of course, the 780 Ti gigahertz edition, three gigahertz card right there. Yes, you heard me right. 780 Ti gigahertz edition, running at 1,065 megahertz and 1,150 megahertz boost. Comes with a really nice backplate, uh, cooling all of your uh, VRMs. You've got a lot, of, a lot of copper heat pipes, and of course, the same tried and tested and proven gigabyte wind force uh, cooling solutions with the same angled fins on there. So guys, if you're shopping for a graphics card, uh, make sure you take a look at a, a gigabyte here. They've got your wind force cooler, keeping things nice and cool, allowing for massive overclocks as well as a very stable, solid performance. Guys, it's been Jace Two Cents bringing you coverage inside CES 2014. Make sure you check out all our videos and follow us on Twitter for the latest up-to-date news on what's happening here in CES. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.